Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend so far. I just wanted to give you all a quick update in regards to the next patch for Battlefront 2, as well as some new details on this year's upcoming EA Play event later this year. Before I jump into the details, feel free to smash that like button to support the channel. It takes about one second and really goes a long way. Also, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe for all the best updates and news information around everything Star Wars. Anyways, let's get into it. We will start off with EA Play. For those of you that don't know what it is, well, it's pretty much the same thing as the E3 gaming convention, except with purely EA gaming titles. These games will be discussed and showcased, and sometimes they even show off things for the first time, such as trailers and future games, so it's really an exciting time of year. This year it is being held from June 9th to the 11th, and it will be at the Hollywood Palladium in Los Angeles. Now obviously for those of you that follow me on social media, you will know that I was recently fortunate enough to be invited into the EA Game Changers program, where I get to test the new EA titles and provide feedback, so I really hope I get the opportunity to head out to EA Play in LA come June. Now in the blog post announcing EA Play for this year, it mentioned that at this year's event there will be a chance to test out the new Battlefield field experience, whatever that may be, which is actually really awesome because I absolutely love Battlefield 1 and I actually play it a decent amount in my downtime when I'm not playing Battlefront 2. So it would be extremely exciting and fun to get the chance to test that out and play it. There will also be EA Sports games, The Sims, mobile games all on display and it is also said that they will have a few surprises in store for everyone as well. So it's definitely going to be a massive event. So fingers crossed that I can hopefully attend that in June. I'm really hoping we get some kind of Battlefront 2 announcement there as well, possibly for a future DLC season, which by that point will probably be season 4, as I can imagine season 2 will be coming out soon, and season 3 could very well be a solo DLC to go along with the release of the movie in May. So maybe it will be the fourth season announcement at EA Play, I really hope it would be, that would be extremely awesome, and to be there would be even better. Now moving on to the patch update for Battlefront 2, the design director for the game, Dennis Bramble was replying to a complaint thread on Reddit about the lack of communication from the developers of Battlefront 2, as there is still no word on Season 2 and certain extreme bug fixes. He responded to it by saying, we're around, a week ago we released a client patch with content, next week the dev team will be locking down content for the next client patch, which will lead them into focused bug fixing. No exact release date yet, but as early as possible next month. So guys, it looks like we could be seeing patch 1.3 early in March and I really hope this is the case as we have just had patch 1.2 and if we get another one early in March then it will be getting even closer to the promised patch every two weeks that the developers had mentioned with the release of the game. Hopefully the bug fixes and then finally the verification process doesn't take too long and we can get patch 1.3 earlier on in March rather than later. Anyways guys that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the news update. I'm super excited about EA Play as well as another patch coming hopefully early in March. If you enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. Let's aim for 20 likes on the video and see if we can smash that out of the park. Anyways guys, I will see you in the next video. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you.